Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. What's going on, Star Wars fans? Welcome to another episode of Power of the Force Friday. It's got a bit of a special one this week. Really excited to uh, pick this thing up. It's the Cantina. I had Mos Eisley with Sand Trooper and Patrol Droid. Now, I have had this place set before. I've never bought it in the box. I was uh, given given it to me by a friend uh, quite a few years ago. Um, and it did, it was just, it was loose. It was just the bar and the, and the, and the diorama, basically. Um, unfortunately, once I had to pack up my collection like a year and a half ago, it got a little damaged, so I decided just to discard it and... Um, I'd eventually get a new one, which is exactly what I've done. Um, so I've never had this unique sand trooper and patrol droid. So I don't think it's any different. It does come with the uh, patrol droid. Um, and he's got the white pauldron. And uh, yeah, the slightly different blaster, but I think it's uh, pretty much the same. Maybe the angle of his hands are slightly different. I'm just looking at this guy here. I do have two or three of those, at least two. I can actually see them out of the corner of my eye. And uh, yes, yeah, some other figures in the wave, in the line. Contains figures as not as those other sold separately. So your 25 inch wide display diorama. Yeah, like I said with my last one, I actually reinforced it with like, with like foam. Um, a foam core board around it sort of made a made a box for it um and that worked out quite well so uh yeah i'm actually pretty excited this one came out in 1998 already getting the sort of previews for star wars episode one coming summer 1999 to galaxies everywhere new characters vehicles and worlds pretty exciting times i never never had this play set as a as a kid so we had to open it now as a 35 year old child <laughs> it's, it's actually pretty exciting so we're gonna get straight into it so i'm, gl I'm glad you guys could join me for it it's uh loving the power of the force and uh yeah being you know this is uh what's that sort of 25 plus years old now and uh, hasn't seen the light of day until now have they used to lock these figures in like they were never going to see the light of day I am just going to try and snip these no nope. my scissors aren't strong enough so we're just going to work on these twist ties luckily there's only a couple All right, here's the sand trooper with the uh, with the droid. So yeah, I didn't click that. It's a sand trooper, but he doesn't come with the uh, the backpack. But the backpack slot is housed with the uh, stand for the for the droid here for the security droid, patrol droid. And here we have the blaster rifle. It still has the. Uh, Sort of little rubber bandies around it, which is just sort of degraded into into nothing. <laughs> so I just have to scratch that off. I've been in there for a very long time. That's fine. So we'll get this all in his hands there. There we go. That's cool. I like him a lot. I definitely take pride of place with my other sand troopers on my Power of the Force shelf.
Yeah, it looks good. Very, very happy with this guy. It's got a little bit of weathering and dirtiness to him as well, which is cool. So yeah, let's let's just put him aside and we'll take a look at the uh, the rest of it here. So I can already see there's some assembly instructions here. And that's everything out of the box. I can't imagine this is going to be too challenging. But, uh, yeah, assembly instructions. It seems to be sort of pretty much one big fold out piece. A few other little bits of tabs and that's it. But being the uh, the male that I am, I will keep those instructions there, no, no matter how much I just I don't think I'll need them. All right. It's already taking shape. Yeah, I can I recall why I uh, reinforced this thing last time. Just as it excuse me there. Alright. So while it's still here in one piece, there's these little tiny slot grooves I'm trying to get this on camera so you can see it so they sort of they just sort of slot together like so some of these corners need to be sort of refolded so they hold shape probably need a little bit of weight to sort of sit on them just so they can fit in together properly but yeah I had I had sort of taped it all together with the last one I had, just to get it to hold a little better. So we've got one side up there, it seems to be working okay. So there's one side. Let's move the camera around a little bit there. This is one table. Flip around into there. All right, so camera battery died. Now I'm back. All right, <laughs> had to, yeah, had to step away and charge my camera battery. So picking up right where we left off. Let's just sort of laying out this ground floor here. It seems to be doing okay. Um, yeah, again, I think I'm going to go with the, uh, with the base. Because, uh, yeah, it's a little bit, little bit awkward. I'm going to, uh, yeah, definitely be adding some tape just to, uh, get this to sort of sit. And I know it's sort of awkward behind camera, which is why I'm talking to try and keep interest while I'm putting this thing together. Um, so, move this back just a fraction and sort of get a look at where we are so far. You can see it's sort of just, once it's sort of sitting down on the ground, of course this has been folded up in a box for 25 years. So it's not going to sit exactly the way we want it to from the get-go, but we'll, we'll work with this. So we've got the bar here now. So obviously we just got to fold those two bits down. And shove it back far enough that these tabs will sort of flop through the front. Sort of holds. We do have this other bar table here. It's a corner booth. A 
but yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be nice to customize up this thing again and get it on a nice stable stable base, uh, so it can sort of be moved in and around the collection as I as I need to. So we've got the sides of the bar here. Work out how exactly. So there's a couple of tabs here. Oh, I can see that now. That flips under there. So we're going to have a few bits just popping out. In the meantime. So yeah, to be able to get this thing back together and <laughs> do it do it well should be good once it's uh, all done. Again, it's sort of tricky coming from behind a camera too. But uh, yeah, for the meantime, this will sort of go in my sort of main three and three quarter inch collection as opposed to the Power of the Force display as it did previously. But there we go, that's pretty much pretty much how it goes. Um, you know, reinforcements to come, but that's pretty much how it sits. So if you look back at some of my previous sort of toy collections, I have had this kind of, you know, very well populated. I had Han and Greedo sitting over here at this booth. Had uh, Wuha behind the bar, and bar, bar cups and stuff like that. Had the uh, Cantina band sort of sitting around here. Um, which I do have the new vintage collection modal nodes coming. So I'm pumped for that because they're going to uh, populate it. And uh, I dare say, you know, with uh, Boba's Palace playset that's coming out, which I'd love to get my hands on that vintage collection. Um, unfortunately, I've missed out on its on its pre-order here in Australia. Um, so I will be hunting one of those down in due time. Um, I dare say it's not out of the realm of possibility for a, a, a cool modern vintage collection, sort of three and three quarter inch cantina playset i think that would be absolutely fantastic but yeah this will do until that day comes let's look at the uh, stormtrooper here as well so yeah this one will just be put aside for the moment uh due to i don't have an allocated spot in the collection for it just yet do have my shelves here happening. I've got a bunch of figures out. <laughs> Excuse the uh, lights. It's a work in progress. If you want to check my sort of almost weekly vlog that I'm doing, you can sort of see where I'm up to with the collection uh, changing every week. But yeah, this is, I'm glad to have this one back in the collection again, as awkward it was, as it was to sort of put together on camera. I'm glad to, uh, Glad to have made it work. Again, I just will be keeping this box. I think it's nice. Just love looking at those figures that, you know, as a kid, I still don't have that Ponda Barber. I'd like to get a hold of him. At least I don't think I do. Not that one particularly. That was the Cantina scene one. And that's the Obi Wan Kenobi from the sort of light up lights and sounds. It's obviously got the green blade. at the back there it says Han, Chewie, Ponda, Luke, Ben, Greedo's man and work work in the bar <laughs> a couple of sand troopers and hammerhead that's cool cool stuff nice 
nice one of the little cutout cards there from Moss Isley to Moss Esper. Getting ready for the Phantom Menace. So yeah, this is uh, this has been cool, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Taking a look at the uh, cantina at Moss Isley. You back into some back into some action figures next week, I think, or a action figure next week. I appreciate you taking some time to watch and check this out. Power of the Force Friday is definitely a highlight of my week. And uh, yeah, they always get a good reception. So thank you very much for watching, folks. We'll see you next week for another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. Until then, may the Force be with you always.